Hello everyone, this is Babamot. Welcome to another Homeworld game commentary. This match is between Winsome Sniper and Will. And, uh, I don't know anything about this game particularly, other than it started June 15th, 2023. And both uh, Sniper and Will are both strong players. So let's see how this goes. Oh, um, I've, uh, received several comments lately that my sound is too quiet, so I have in fact turned up the gain, even though I still kind of have to whisper a little bit to keep from disturbing my family, but uh, let me know if this is any better. All right, Sniper starts with a large yellow Gemini, and Will takes a yellow Banker, so this is a Microverse game. Uh, this might be, well, okay, I cheated. I, I thought it was, I was going to say it might be very short, but the uh, scroll bar says no. All right. Sniper builds, Will builds. Sniper trades for blue right away, so does Will. And in a microverse, the homeworlds are connected, so uh, spooky things could happen, like if, if either of them builds another blue, neither of them can build the the medium blues right now, because the other will send in their uh, their little blue ship for the catastrophe. So, in most games, you'd be a fool to pass up the uh, the mediums, but not here. It's what you got to do. And now, in fact, oh, uh, Will is thinking about building that medium blue. Nope, I think they, they realized the problem. So an awkward thing can happen here where Sniper could move the little blue into uh, Will's homeworld, and Will would want to move or trade their little blue because otherwise Sniper can sacrifice the G1 to build for a catastrophe. So they can, um, just in general, microverses are weird. Yeah, and it's extra important to get a red immediately if your opponent does because otherwise Sniper invades with the big green and uh, is prepared to start capturing. They resume building green. Sniper moves that blue out. And Will, seeing that that little blue is no longer threatening his home, goes ahead and gets that medium blue. I think that's good. Uh, Sniper, though moves to a connected system, but Sniper doesn't have any yellow, so this isn't actually a threat just yet. I think Sniper here really just wants to set up to uh, build a medium blue, but Will could block by trading. Or by invading, for that matter. Sniper takes another red. Will does not capture that little blue just yet, and that's wise, because otherwise Sniper could invade. If, if Will spent his only red, then Sniper could invade Will's home. Okay, I'm going to try very hard not to forget that the home worlds are connected. I'll probably forget at least once this commentary, though. All right, Will takes another medium blue, but his invasion is, is keeping Sniper suppressed. Sniper is not building any, uh, any mediums yet. And Sniper... Trades away the small red, which uh, plugs up the bank. Otherwise, Will could have built a, a medium red, which would have been pretty good for Will. So the it's a pretty good time to trade for yellow, I think. Um, Will spreading out the blues. Interesting. Yeah, Will, as, as always seemed to be uh, particularly aggressive when the blues are, are up for grabs, and Sniper is playing into that at the moment. But Sniper's getting more yellow. Will hasn't bothered with any yellow yet. But I betcha Will goes for the blue shopping spree. Well, no. Will can't. Because Sniper has yellow now. If Will were to build all three of these blues... One of them would need to be at home to keep it defended from Sniper's large green. But then Sniper could overpopulate by sacrificing a Y1, moving in the little blue. So Will 
should not shopping spree. But we can build a, a medium green someplace. Or just move in the little green so that we can keep building next turn. That's good too. Sniper spreads out the yellows. If Sniper keeps going, they'll have a pretty good yellow advantage. Maybe even something like Monopoly. Okay, Will takes that medium blue. Sniper says it's time for a large. And I think Sniper's right. So previously, when Sniper was only prepared to build the, the medium blue, Will could have captured it. Could have captured it. But now uh, Sniper gets the first large. And... Uh, what was Will's plan here? Just to build the large and overpopulate? Okay, well, I suppose that's all right. Sniper still only has access to blue at their home. Um, and so if Sniper ever trades to get a blue ship, they'll have two blues there. And Will may be able to move their ships around for the advantage. So even though Sniper lost a... Uh, a small ship and Will lost a medium. Uh, this may still out, turn out better for Will. Will, anyway, has, has more medium ships, so I think Will may still have the material advantage, just is a little behind on the yellow. And uh, Sniper, I think, wisely trades for blue right away. If, uh, if Sniper had waited for even one more turn, Will would have had another blue available to start moving into Sniper's home for the overpopulation if Sniper had come to this position. Will now trading for Y3. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Sniper spreading out the blues right away. I think that's wise. Will is trying to push the blues into the bigger pieces, and so Sniper wants to be a part of that. So Will takes a medium. Sniper... Mm, passes up the medium, um, favoring more yellow instead. Interesting. I wonder which will ultimately be more valuable here, the the larger ships or the yellow. Yellow being generally more important to have a lot of than blue. Okay, will now getting a medium red, so... Medium red's quite valuable for sacrificing for two captures, and I think even more important than that at the moment is that Will now has two red ships, um, and Will has the, the size advantage, so Sniper's colony is, is vulnerable to invasion right now. Sniper will want to uh, build something larger to defend, uh, since Will now has a red they'd be willing to sacrifice. Huh, building the... Uh, the medium. I guess what Sniper has in... I, I think I would have built the medium blue for defense. Um, by bu building the medium yellow, uh, Sniper knows that Will isn't going to build the large yellow for the uh, cheap catastrophe favoring Sniper here. But uh, Sniper gives Will the opportunity to move this medium yellow to destroy... Three for one, but Sniper will still have one yellow. Will still have the, the yellow advantage, but not by a whole lot. Uh, I don't actually like that yellow build overall. Uh, I think Sniper is hoping that Will will not react to this, and Sniper can sacrifice Y2 to move in the two smalls to overpopulate this colony. Send it Supernova, and then things will be pretty even. But I think Will will just move the yellow away. Yeah, and now Will is actually in a better position to build that uh, Y3 than Sniper is. Sniper will need to trade one of these to block. They trade the medium for a red, the small for a red. Okay. Will could continue building up yellows here in a a colony that's adjacent to Sniper's home, which is a nice threatening position. Uh, Will, though, looking at building more red. 
Yeah, I think that's probably a good choice. If a sniper builds another red, then uh, Will can get a, uh, a large... For just a moment, I was forgetting that the home worlds are connected. Um, I was contemplating which system sniper would be better off building a medium red in. He picks the colony, uh, but will... Oh, why not build the large red? I don't actually see a reason not to build the large red. Uh, does Sniper build it? Yes. Oh, I, Will maybe may have wanted the shopping spree, sacrificed the G3 for all three large reds, but of course Sniper gets one of them, so Will only gets two, but uh, Will can take the uh, the last little yellow or, or a medium blue. Both good choices. Will doesn't want the shopping spree? That's not like Will. Huh, okay. I guess Will concluded correctly that Sniper can't build that large red right now, and so it might be available on Will's next turn, but Sniper might get aggressive, invade the caster colony, uh, or, or even this colony, and so Sniper is creating a threat and spreading out the reds, um, so even if Will does take this large red, Sniper takes Will's only yellow, uh, but instead Will is sacrificing it? No. He builds the large red. Okay, but Sniper's going to get Will's only yellow ship. Hmm, okay. So things have settled down a little bit. Will has uh, still a material advantage, in particular a... Uh, an additional large ship, but has no yellow ships anywhere. Yellow stars everywhere. Um, I wonder if Will should trade for yellow someplace, but there's only the small yellow. Not a great time to trade for yellow here. Just building the biggest ship possible, the blue. Sniper takes the last yellow ship, maybe. No, taking a blue. Yeah, I guess there's no hurry for Will to take the... for Sniper to take the last yellow ship, since Will doesn't have a good way to trade for it. And now Will, getting aggressive, moving a blue into Deneb. I'm not sure... that'll be worthwhile. Well, maybe. So, if uh, if Will, if assuming the, the obvious thing, Sniper just captures and Will moves in the other blue too, uh, Snipers l will lose a medium and a small. Will loses two mediums. So Will comes down slightly in material, but Will would end with the only blue ship left in the game. So maybe that's to Will's advantage. Yeah, Sniper just takes... Will... Uh, Will doesn't overpopulate. Will builds a B3. Okay. Um, that's pretty alright. Uh, now, though... Sniper, I would expect, would sacrifice Y2 to move in two blues and overpopulate these. So compared to before Will moved in the B2, um, Will has come down by two mediums and Sniper has gone down by two mediums and a small. Okay. I, I guess I'd call that a win for uh, a win for Will. Does Sniper take the overpopulation? Yes. Okay. 
I wonder if uh, Will would invade the Deneb colony. Well, another another thing that 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 exchange did was free up that medium yellow. Um, Will prefers to trade the uh, the medium rather than a small because Will's only small. That was, I mean, there there were other options. I suppose Will could have sacrificed the B1 to trade some other small for that last yellow, but uh, it would have been yellow at a yellow star adjacent to Winsome Sniper's yellows. And anyway, it would, Will would be losing his last blue. Yeah, so anyway, for freeing up that, that medium yellow was good for Will to be able to trade something other than his small for it. Okay, Sniper comes in to threaten that colony. But that little red can just run away. Um, run away in an aggressive way? I don't like that too much. If, uh, if Will does this and Sniper sacrifices the little red to capture this red, then Will is just throwing away a piece. Uh, but I guess that's actually better than Will simply squonking the the red one to begin with, because at least it costs Sniper their turn. Uh, I would have been inclined to move this little red to the little yellow, a new colony, since if, uh, as long as this red pursues, the little red can just run away, but then again, Sniper could chase with a different piece, and this, that little red would, would run out of places to run. Okay, maybe maybe this is best. Yeah, Sniper sniper captures without uh, getting in danger of a, an overpopulation with the uh, sacrifice. Okay, Will now invades a colony as well, leaving this colony undefended, but Sniper's large isn't connected. But that yellow can just run away, and now Will's got a stranded R3. I'm in a game right now with a stranded R3, and it's pretty annoying. Um, I don't have anywhere... I don't have, it's, it's become a very inactive piece. Um, all right, Will, now what are you going to do? Build more red? Build more green? More but more green. Sniper sacrifices B2 to trade for green and blue. Okay, so Sniper still has a nice place for building blues and has turned up an investment. Uh, Sniper can sacrifice this G3 to get the Y3. And if enough more green comes out of the bank, Sniper might even get their G3 back when they sacrifice. We'll see. So Will builds another green. I think that might be playing into Sniper's hands. The more green comes out of the bank, the more likely it is that Sniper will want to sacrifice this G3 and rebuild it in addition to building the Y3. Well, I guess there's still this Y1 and the G2 blocking those large builds, so Sniper would only get one in that case. Okay. Looks like Will wants to interfere with that investment. I think that's a pretty good choice. Sniper takes another red. Will, uh, Will says it's time for a shopping spree. Green, green, and large. Okay, yeah, overpopulating that green. That's good. Um, yeah, good good move from Will. I wasn't even thinking about that. I think Sniper didn't want to capture that little invader because Sniper was too low on red, so they took that turn to build red first. Um, but then Will overpopulated right away. That was good move. All right. Sniper takes a medium, but Will invades. 
the colony. Ah. And Sniper's got a lot of stuff there that would like to run away. What is Sniper going to try to save? Oh, Sniper sacrifices B2 to trade two of the ships for green, sending their own star supernova. All right. I think uh, Will is still pretty happy with that, though. Will's got uh, same material as Sniper, but is up by a large, a stranded large. But uh, my money is on Will here, I think. All right. Oh, uh, Sniper takes it back. Sacrifice, trade, trade, supernova. Okay, they commit. All right, Will now. What will Will do? Trades for green. I, my guess is Will wants to build up the blues for blue monopoly again. No, spreading out the yellow. Sniper trades for blue. Will builds more green. Huh. I don't think those are cho those last couple of moves from Will are what I would have done, especially I don't know what discovering this large green star is about. I guess more places to build yellow is good. Maybe that's all it is. Okay, Sniper takes red. Will takes red. Sniper takes another red. To overpopulate, Will would have to sacrifice the Y2. Uh, I think it's probably still a good choice for Will, other than it's their only... Uh, yellow, sh yellow ship. Will spreads out the greens, maybe. Will also builds medium red, tempting Sniper now to sacrifice their, uh, their Y2 to get the red overpopulation. Sniper... Sniper does it. Okay, overpopulates. Uh, Will's only red ship is now a large which Will would rather not have to sacrifice if Sniper invades, I think. So I think Will ought to build or trade red. Huh. I think if... I feel like if Sniper invades, they might... They might win. Okay, Sniper... Builds yellow. Oh, I wouldn't have invaded with a small... Oh, well... Yeah, the the small isn't bad. Uh, Will doesn't want to sacrifice their large red for the small red. Will sacrifices blue to trade for red? What's that about? I'm not sure why the sacrifice in particular. Okay, let's see what Sniper does. Sniper builds green, doesn't bother taking this little green. I guess because uh, Will could just take it back. And Sniper doesn't want to draw, I guess, because they could just trade the green. Well, I, I guess if, if Sniper takes the green, Will takes the red back. Sniper wants to spend the time elsewhere. Okay, building green too. Yeah, Will just captures the, the invader. Huh, I wonder if, if Sniper made a mistake, if, if Sniper had envisioned something else happening there, because that seemed like just a waste of a little red ship. Okay, Sniper spreads out the greens. Will probably wishes they had a, a large green for a factory here. Yeah, and, and now Will trades the little red that they captured for a little blue. They had a little blue earlier that they sacrificed un unnecessarily to trade for a... Uh, I think it was their large ship they traded for red? No, what? I can't remember what they... <laughs> okay. What did Will do? Sacrificed the blue to trade G3 for R3. Yeah. Um, yeah, not sure why that was. Okay, Sniper takes more yellow. That brings them to three yellows at home, but Will doesn't have yellow connected. Will takes a medium blue, maybe? Medium green, maybe. Trades for yellow. 
Uh, that's a little spooky. For both players, I guess. Sniper spreads out the yellow. Preventing the overpopulation. Will gets their yellow out of their home where it was endangering their star. Sniper takes a green. Will spreads out their greens. Um, but Sniper's ahead enough on green, especially having that large green, to do a factory. Takes the last medium green and another red. Will now has a pr little bit of a yellow advantage. Uh, but Will's just opened up the large yellows. Um, I would expect Sniper to build the large yellow here in the colony. Will would have to spend all of the yellow he has to overpopulate it. Yeah, Sniper does a factory build to get that large yellow and a red. Uh, yeah, and all of Will's red is large, so Will would have to spend a large to knock those guys out. Uh, Will sacrifices G... Oh, G1 to build the Y3. Oh, yes. So with the, the bank empty of yellow, Will had uh, that little green as an investment. Okay, that's that's clever. Okay, Sniper now spreading out the reds. Will builds green. Yeah, Will is threatening now to move uh, two greens and a large ship into Sniper's home all at once to knock out Sniper's only large ship at home and uh, invade with a large which Sniper could overpopulate, since it would have to be red, but still a scary uh, circumstance. Okay. Sniper spreads out the greens, possibly thinking of uh, trying to over trying to send Electra Supernova? I guess, but I think Will just captures that. I, Sniper's not in a great spot for a Supernova. Hmm, that, that one kind of confuses me. Let's see what Sniper does. Sniper had some plan. Sacrifice the G2 to build red and red. Um... Yeah, not sure what the point of that. Oh, I, I guess they Sniper wanted to get rid of that G1 because it was endangering their mothership. Okay, I, I'm a little slow, but sometimes I get there. All right, Sniper builds more red. Will... Ah, moving in... Uh, just one green for starters, which Sniper could capture, but then Will can sacrifice Y3 to send in two more greens, knock out Sniper's mothership, and a large red. It's, well, I guess Will doesn't want to lose the large red. It would uh, overpopulate immediately. I'm not sure. This This doesn't feel like it's a great time for an invasion. Sniper sacrifices G2. Ah, it overpopulates their own red ships to get that large. That's cute. Uh, I feel like that needs a name because it doesn't happen very often, but it's really cool when it does. All right, Sniper instead spreading out the reds, sending one into Will's home. That seems like the opposite of what you want to do. Oh, well, I, I, or unless Sniper is trying to do the exact same thing Will was. If Sniper now sacrifices Y3 to send in two reds, overpopulates... So, okay, Sniper sacrifices Y3. Try that again. Y3 sends in these two reds to knock out these two reds in an overpopulation, and with a third move brings the G3 down here. Will no longer has a mothership. Sniper has a green large in Will's home that is not going to be particularly easy for Will to overpopulate. And Sniper's got some more red for capturing. I think Sniper's got this. Yeah, Sniper knocks out. Oh, no. 
just knocking out the mothership without the invasion? Um, maybe I've miscalculated, but it seems like Sniper should move in. Okay. Will builds a green. Sniper... Invades? Just with a small? I'm... I'm a little... I'm a little puzzled. Um... Okay, Will doesn't want to... Doesn't want to capture that invader, because Will would have to sacrifice their only red, and it would be the large to do it. Will sacrificing Y3... To move in a green to overpopulate Sniper's mothership. Defend their home world with a medium... And invade Sniper's home with a large. Okay. However. Sniper. Mm. I want to say Sniper defends by sacrificing G2 to build two reds, knocking out Will's R3. That's the best. I think that's really all Sniper can do. Um, so Will has no red anymore, but Sniper does. Okay, Will trades for an R2. Does Sniper capture these two smalls? That would let Sniper... Um, Uh, Will, no, Will could capture one of them back for free. I was going to say Sniper would probably like to build into a a yellow overpopulation. Oh, I guess that doesn't matter very much. I think Sniper needs to be in survival mode. Just get a, a medium back home. Otherwise, Will's going to invade. Yeah, because the homeworlds are still connected, just as they were from the start. Okay, looking good for Will now. I think I think both players missed opportunities for a demolition fleet and uh moving knocking out the opponent's mothership and moving in a large well, sniper more than will will would have had to have moved in a large red that sniper could have overpopulated but I think sniper should have moved in that G3 to will's home instead of uh moving ships back to their own home All right sniper though Sending their yellow somewhere green to build. Will gets aggressive. Sniper spreads out the blue. Will builds yellow. Y3s are now available. Sniper knocks out a few of Will's ships that way. Ooh, Sniper's down to so few ships. Will gets aggressive at the colony, and yeah, Sniper resigns. Sniper's going to be down to one ship on their next turn. Okay, well, uh, a longer game than I expected, considering the microverse. Uh, microverses are very prone to errors. You guys have the, the privilege of rewinding to see if there was actually something wrong with that invasion I proposed for Sniper earlier. Um, but yeah, that was, a, that was a good game, some really good plays from both sides. I enjoyed that, and thanks for watching.